Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Coach Steph Davis. Welcome to Reignite, the follow-up series to our iconic Ignite Summer Body Transformation Dumbbell Workout Program. Ignite series will help you get your summer body transformation more effectively than any other workout series online by training you according to science around your body's energy expenditure system. We start every workout with strength training to efficiently rid your body of glucose so that later through the workout we can dig into your fat storage and use it as a source of energy to complete your mild cardio component. Each superset in Reignite is made up of two related exercises covered in 30 second intervals. Then we follow it with 30 seconds of rest. As you already know, you can't burn body fat without depleting your body of glycogen first. So let's have you work out the correct way as though you've hired your very own aesthetics personal trainer. The first five workouts in our Reignite series is available to everybody with access to YouTube, X or Rumble and all five workouts are free of charge. The next 15 workouts are available exclusively to our YouTube channel members. Channel membership can be obtained for a tiny fee of $3 per month and you can do this by hitting the join icon when you're on our YouTube channel. Channel members have access to all of our premium content, including full series access to Ignite, Gains and Ripped, just to name a few. That's enough talking from us, let's get started with today's Reignite Summer Body Transformation Dumbbell Workout. We'll see you on the other side. This exercise is a single arm row. You can see we're starting with our left side and we're looking for vertical movement of your arm. So drop that dumbbell straight down, get a nice stretch, and then pull it back up with your elbow tucked in by your ribs. The rest of your body should remain motionless and stationary, and make sure that your lower back is nice and flat. For the second exercise, we'll switch sides and do the same single arm rows with your right side. Make sure your support elbow is remaining soft. Having your fingers tipped over the edge is a good idea because that's gonna help support your wrist. And having a little bit of a wider stance helps as well because that's gonna help with your stability and your balance. Deep and go, 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 deep and go
We're using our 45 degree angle to work some inclined bench rows for this exercise, guys. But if you don't have an inclined bench at your disposal, you could do this as a bent over row instead. You'll note our bodies are completely pressed up against the bench and it's a vertical motion of the dumbbell lift. Pull those elbows back, keep them tight by your ribs and bring the dumbbells up without moving your torso or generating any momentum. We'll couple this exercise with some seated biceps curls. The main thing is to make sure that your elbows remain motionless so they're not swinging back and forth. And we're looking for at least 90 degrees of flexion.
when you drop it low and break me off. No, she doesn't mind. No, she doesn't mind. No, she doesn't mind. Girl, I got you so. Push it back on it, bring it back on it. Give me the thing, become a waffle lock and I whine it. Wiggle it, set the track on it. Two more shots, now we in the hop on it. Two girl, and I'm ready to jump on it. Two to my world, and I'm ready to jump on it. Ready for rump on it, ready for dump on it. Tight team in fire, trunk me bump on it. Hands on high. This exercise is a single arm T-row. Starting with the left side first, make sure when you drive your arm up, keep that elbow aligned with your shoulder nice and wide. Make sure you're exercising ample control on the way up as well as the way down. So you can see that we're doing just that. Make sure you've got a sturdy stance wide enough to keep your body balanced and you're looking on the floor directly in front of you to keep your neck aligned with your back. Always look for full range of motion all the way down. Squeeze the back of your shoulders, your lats and your rhomboids and pull as far up as you can as well without rotating your torso.
took a pill in Ibiza to show the Vici I was cool. And when I finally got sober, felt ten years older, but fuck it, it was something to do. I'm living out in LA. I drive this boy's car just to prove I'm a real big baller 'cause I made a million dollars and I spent it on girls and shoes. But you don't wanna be high like me, never really knowing why like me. You don't ever wanna step up that roller coaster and me all alone. You don't wanna write the best like this, never knowing who to trust like this. You don't wanna be. Starting this superset in a bent over position, making sure that your back is flat and your knees are soft and we're working some rotating rows. So you can see there's a 180 degree rotation of the dumbbell from its starting position at the bottom of the exercise with your arms straight to the top of the exercise until the dumbbells are touching your ribs. Make sure that your elbows remain tucked in so you've got to not let them hang out throughout your exercise. For the second exercise, we're working some advanced alternate bicep curls. You can see a distinct difference between this one and traditional calls the static arm is remaining at the top instead of the bottom of the exercise so it's essentially an isometric hold both arms are working throughout the whole set
This exercise is a bench preacher curl. So you can see we've got a high incline. We've got our upper arm rested on the bench. We're focused on that flexion at the elbows. When you drop the dumbbell down, make sure that your elbow remains soft in order for you to protect it. So don't go all the way down with it. Keep your palm facing up the whole time in order to really hit the short head of your biceps. If you don't have an inclined bench, then you can just do single arm bicep curls as an alternative. For the second exercise, we're simply switching arms and working our preacher curls with the opposite arm for the second set.
This exercise is a single arm bench biceps lift. So you can see we're using the opposite hand to support our position, making sure our body is nice and flat up against the bench. And we're looking for vertical movement of your dumbbells. So in order for this to happen, you've got to keep your elbow tucked in and you've got to push it back as you lift. So this is both motion in your shoulders and motion in your elbows as well so that you're hitting your biceps from both sides. For the second exercise, we'll do the same bench biceps lift with the opposite hand. Make sure your stance is nice and sturdy and make sure you're pinned up against your bench for it. And again, look for ample control both on the way up and the way down as well. Well done everybody for making it to the fat burning component of this workout. 
Now that you've effectively lowered your blood glucose, we can start burning body fat by keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Let's take a moment to rehydrate with a sip of water while Coach Ali explains training in your fat burning zone. Now, even if you're already familiar with the fat burning zone formula, don't skip this section. Take this opportunity to simply rest your body and prepare for our conditioning component. Your maximum natural heart rate is regarded as 220 minus your age. So let's quickly calculate this number. For example, I'm 46 years old, so my theoretical maximum heart rate is 174 beats per minute. Now, multiply your maximum heart rates by 0.67. We want to be two thirds of the way up there so that we're in our optimal fat burning zone. My optimal fat burning heart rate is 117 beats per minute, which is achieved through low intensity cardio after your weights training. Now calculate your optimal fat burning heart rate. Let's get active and let's burn some body fat. The first one in this superset is a squat with a side step. So you can see we're stepping to the left, hitting a squat, and then stepping to the right and hitting another squat. For the second exercise, we're keeping that squat energy going and we're touching the floor alternately. So by the end of this superset, you're gonna feel that tension in your quadriceps, particularly in the lower vastus heads, and it should be a great mild cardio workout for you.
listening when you say I'm to blame Cause I've already figured out we're out of time The first exercise in this superset is some twist hops. Now make sure you're staying nice and light on your toes and just have some fun with it guys. Swing those hips left and right and work on your rotational flexibility. For your second exercise, we're doing some alternate knee strikes to the side. Open those hips up as you throw your knee strikes and land lightly on your feet.
This exercise is a crisscross and it's a simple complex between jumping back and forth as well as side to side. It might be a little bit hard to coordinate so just do your best with it. For the second exercise we're doing some cardio uppercuts. You can see there's a shift of the hip and the power comes from the glutes and we're just throwing some light uppercuts having some fun with it. Well done everybody, you got through today's dumbbell workout for a summer body. Now what did you like or even dislike about today's workout? Comment and let us know because we can then better understand what you think about our workout and our training methods. We'd like to thank you for training with us today and we look forward to you training with us in our next workout together. 
Before we go, can we please ask that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss future workouts in this series. If you think your friends or family could benefit from today's workout, then please share a link with them and let's help your loved ones get fit and healthy too. Once again, thank you for tuning in and we look forward to seeing more of you right here shortly.